Tammy Garcia, it's such a pleasure to have you here at the Rockwell Museum of Western Art in Corning, New York. And I'm thrilled to be standing in this gallery of all of your monumental bronzes and glass work to date. And it's such an exciting thing for us to have here in Corning, New York because of the unique history here of the Carter Steuben and the Steuben and Corning glass works and this unique collection of Western art that has come to an East Coast location with you know, giving a platform for Native American art through the ages. Um, it's a very exciting thing for us. I, I wonder how you feel about it, having a, a, an exhibition like this on the uh, West, or excuse me, on the East Coast, and um, what it means to you. When I walked through the doors, I think there was a, an overwhelming feeling to see the body of work in one place at one time, I think was really special. Uh, it's about 10 years of artwork in here. And so that's, that's rare you know, to, to see that much work in one place. And uh, I think it's amazing. You know, I couldn't be more thrilled. Oh, and us too. I mean, we've got some 22 sculptures in this gallery. Mm -hmm. One piece of pottery to kind of set the tone of visions beyond clay, because that's where you started as an, as an artist, really, um, from the Santa Clara Pueblo. But now moving into this sphere of bronze and glass takes on a whole new level of, of artistry, and we're so pleased to host it. Um, we're really excited about this piece here, because I, I think you mentioned that it was one of the first glass panels that you uh, created. And so really, it was created for this show. Is that correct? It was. And I've been working for about four years with glass. Uh, my first introduction to glass was working with Preston Singletary, uh, working with blown glass vessels. And to, to work in this panel style is something I've been practicing or building up to for about the last two and a half years. And these pieces were created this year uh, using the panels of glass and then applying powdered glass over oh, wow. mm -hmm. uh, to create the multiple colors. And let's see, for these pieces I worked with uh, Jeremy Lapisto mm -hmm. and Mel George in, uh, in Oregon. And very talented people, and glass is such a, an exciting medium, I think, to, you know, for me, I would still consider it exploring, you know, definitely, uh, because of your color options, and the way you can apply it, you know, it's, there's, there's a sense of, of surprise, you know, and mystery, uh, to see the, the color before it's fused, it looks one way, and then to see it once it is fused, it has a different look to it. Right. So, uh, Not unlike the pottery before firing. Right. After firing. Right. So you, there's a there has to be some sense of imagining what it will look like in your mind, right. and hopefully you can achieve that in the end. Well, I think when you're as creative as you are, you can do that imagining <laughs> for all of us. Do you have a favorite medium yet? Is it clay, bronze, glass? Or are they all kind of favorite children? I like them all. You know, they, they each have a special quality about them, and it, it keeps, I think, keeps what I do interesting. And, you know, I love the, the, the textures, the, you know, the different metals, the, the patina that, that bronze has, and, you know, I think all of which make um, my vision, you know, possible. You know, and it makes it, you know, each piece is, is unique in that sense. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, we are very lucky to have your work here, and I think that every visitor that comes in will find their own favorite medium that you work in, mm -hmm. possibly all of them. So, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.